Number 90. What volume of a 0.00945 molarity solution of potassium hydroxide would be required to titrate 50 mils of a sample of acid rain with an H2SO4 concentration of 1.23 times 10 to the negative 4 molarity? And then they give me a little formula over here. Now, you might be thinking that I'm going to write this formula out big if you guys, you know, if you guys know me, right? But there's a little trick here. I love acid-base titrations, especially if it's a strong acid and a strong base. So I see the word titration, so I'm going into the zone of all the formulas that I can use for titration. And in this case, we have potassium hydroxide, and we've done tons of acid and base work, right? We know our strong acids, we know our strong bases, and potassium hydroxide is a strong base. Potassium hydroxide is K. OH. It's this guy over here. And H2SO4, that's on our list of strong acids, right? So we have a strong base and a strong acid. Whenever you have a strong base and a strong acid and you're titrating, right? Titrating is just a fancy way for saying acid-base reaction. You're adding basically a, a base to an acid, right? You're using your burettes if you do this experiment in the laboratory. But in this case, Strong acid, strong base, the word titration's in there. I'm going to use this formula right here. So it makes it very, very, very simple. It basically goes back to M1V1 equals M2V2, but we're just switching it up here. We now have MAVA, and A stands for the acid. So this is the acid side. And then MBVB, this is the base side. B stands for base. So... We said that H2SO4 was our acid, cool, and we said that KOH was our base. Now, the only thing different here is that for the acid side, you have to multiply by the number of H pluses that you see in your acid. Now, in this case, this one is a little tricky, guys, right? Because here's my H. How many do I have? I have two of them. So I have two H pluses. So I need to multiply this side and put a two in here, so it would be two times MAVA. But on the base side, you always multiply by the number of OHs, and in this case, I only have one OH, right? There's only one OH in KOH. Now let's just see what numbers we have in here. So let's see. They told us that we're titrating 50 mils of a sample of acid rain, that's the H2SO4, right? That's the acid that has a concentration of 1.23 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. So we know the molarity of the acid, right? That's the concentration. Molarity, concentration, tomato, tomato. So this is 1.23 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. And the volume that they told me of the acid was the 50 mils. So I know that. Coming over to the base side, they're asking for what volume, so that's the question. I don't know what the volume is, but I do know the molarity of the uh, potassium hydroxide, right, the base. So I know the molarity, so maybe I'll just write this like over here, boop, 0.00, yeah, two zeros, nine, four, five molarity, and we're solving for this, that would be X. Now we have one variable. Let's plug it in. Let's start from left to right. So remember, we said that we had two H pluses in H2SO4 times it by that molarity, 1.23 times 10 to the negative fourth times by 50. I don't put the units in here because I know that they're correct. I just, you know, run with the numbers. The base side, the molarity is 0 0.00945. We're solving for the volume. And then we said that the total number of OHs in KOH was only one. Now, I just want to make something clear, guys. With this formula, this, this formula is beautiful because the volumes, they could be in any volume unit. They just have to match on opposite sides. So if I'm using milliliters here, my answer is going to come out in milliliters. You don't have to convert to liters in this formula like the other molarity formula you have to, right? So let's just simplify this. 
This side would just be 0.00945x. And then get your calculus out two times 1.23 times 10 to the negative fourth. And times by 50. Syntax error. Oh, <laughs> I see it. Uh, love when that happens, right? Okay, so here we have 0. Point, oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. 0, 1, 2, 3, right? Now just solve for x. You know, divide, right? This is just algebra now. 0. 0.00945. 0 0.00945. Okay. And now maybe I'll just put x over here. So that divided by 0 0.0123 divided by 0 0.00945. And if we're playing the sig fig game, let's see, I have three sig figs here, three and four. The lowest number has three sig figs. The lowest number of sig figs in the number is three. So I'm just going to say 1.30. And then it would be in mils because the volume that I used was in mils. So the units have to match. Okay. So here we go, guys. How much, you know, what's the volume? 1.3 mils. I only needed 1.3 mils of my potassium hydroxide that I needed to add to my acid rain to basically titrate this and neutralize it. All right. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I'll see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.